Hello everybody, in today's video I'm back with once again another The Batman Reviews. Thanks to the amazing team over at Jada and Simba Toys, we're going to be taking a look at their all new 132 scale Batman and Batmobile, based on of course the upcoming The Batman movie. Now very quickly taking a look here at the packaging, you can see we've got a great window view display showcasing the newest Batmobile, as well as Batterson there in the back. You can see here at the top we've got a great piece of artwork of the Batman, and as we spin our attention here to the back, it also showcases a really nice product render. So will that be said let's crack this open and see how the newest live action movie Batmobile compares when in comparison to some of its predecessors. And just like that here we have the Batman and the Batmobile and much like some of the previous live action Jada toy Batmobile releases I think this once again is another fantastic representation of how the Batmobile shall appear in the upcoming movie. Now before we delve in and take a look at the vehicle itself we'll very quickly take a look at the included Batman minifig. This has been completely made out of die cast so too also has a great heft to it and the paintwork actually isn't too bad considering that it is approximately only two inches in terms of scale there's no points of articulation as you would expect with perhaps maybe a larger scaled figure but the detailing i definitely don't think looks too bad at all when it does create for a really nice companion piece to display alongside our new batmobile which talking of let's bring this in here for a closer look i actually really love the design of the batmobile from the upcoming movie i think that it definitely harkens back to some of the older batmobiles whilst of course keeping it fresh and updated for the new movie and and Jada Toys have done an absolute smashing job. This is indeed their smallest scale, the 132 scale that they currently have for the Batmobile. And I think the detail is pretty unmatched when in comparison to some of the other competitors out there. The sculpt work alone is remarkable and the actual use of die cast construction adds a ton of weight to this and really makes it feel like a premium product. You can see here towards the hood of the vehicle, we've got some gunmetal gray areas. The sculpt work there looks fantastic. We've even got some minute details of window wipers and you can in fact actually open both of the doors of this Batmobile to reveal some interior detailing such as the dashboard, steering wheel as well as this actual cage which is encased under the roof of the vehicle and even some really nice seating details. We've also got some lovely sculpt work going on here for the base. The tyres are in fact cast out of rubber which is fantastic. You can see here towards the front the bumper as well as the headlights clearly sculpted and as we flip here to the back this is in fact one of the rare instances where I am indeed undecided as to whether or not I will display it from the front or the back as they've packed in as much much detail here as they would do to the front of the vehicle you can see that engine piece looks absolutely fantastic amazing sculpt work considering the scale and we've got mixtures there of metallic silver for the exhaust pipes as well as this awesome gun metal for the actual engine piece itself and even the tail lights have been sculpted and picked out there in red and as you would expect it can indeed glide along the ground with absolute ease so definitely a fantastic looking batmobile for a very quick comparison we've got the new the batman batmobile compared next to some of the previous live action Jada Toy Batmobile releases such as the Tim Burton Michael Keaton Batmobile and of course the Adam West TV series version so you can see in regards to the 132 scale it does in fact actually pair really nicely with some of these prior offerings and much like these two vehicles it has as much detail as you would expect from Jada Toys they really have done such a fantastic job and there was my quick review for the Jada Toys 132 scale the Batman Batmobile overall it's once again another impeccable release they never cease to amaze me on how much attention to detail they actually pack into their products and considering that we are dealing with a vehicle of which mainly focuses on die cast construction these really are some of the best die cast vehicles that I think are out there on the market especially factoring price point the attention detail that they continuously pack into their vehicles are literally unmatched with any other company I think the engine detail to this particular Batmobile looks fantastic the mixture of gunmetal as well as metallic silver to highlight those exhausts truly do look fantastic and this really is one of the few Batmobiles of which I'm undecided as to how to display it in the collection as it looks fantastic from literally every single angle the front and the back I think the incorporation of rubberized tires too is also a really nice touch and despite this being one of their smaller scaled vehicles it does not stop them from not only adding a ton of detail but also a few features such as of course the opening doors the inclusion of a die cast Batman as always is really nice to see especially in regards to a companion piece to a company the Batmobile went on display although I will say that if you have the opportunity to look through several of these on store shelves definitely watch out for the paint apps on the eyes I definitely don't think they're bad by any stretch of the imagination but considering we are dealing with a figure of which is roughly only two inches in scale I'm almost certain that there could in fact actually be some paint defects out there overall if you're after an incredibly detailed smaller scaled representation of how the Batmobile shall appear in the upcoming the Batman movie then I definitely think this is the vehicle for you for those of you looking to add this to the collection I shall of course be sure to include a link down in the description box below and once again I want to give a massive thank you to Jada and Simba 
Simba Toys for sending this product here my way to review for you guys. I thank you all for watching and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.